here we are at the statue pile just a reminder the reason for this channel and these videos and everything that i've been doing for the past month is to raise awareness for this site that's just being destroyed looking for people who can help who can write their archaeological teams in their state write the north carolina archaeological teams david cranford is the assistant to the state archaeolog ar archaeologist um, I want to show want to show you today how all these boulders are you see how they're super flat on the bottom they all have flat bottoms like that varying by millimeters these are large head statues you're gonna see eyes and faces in them as I show you them they're old they're so old that they're hard to recognize nowadays but they are statues they're archetypes of ancient people. You'll see carved out eyes. Think of a statue like Mount Rushmore or, geez, I don't know. You know, this, this stuff hasn't been seen before. When I first came here, I didn't know what it was either. I had no idea, but I knew something was going on when I saw these flat sections here just varying by millimeters. Several of these have already been covered up, some of the good, better ones. Not purposefully, it just happened that way. You're gonna see a lot of these statues, you're gonna see eyes and things in them. Take a close look. You're gonna see bird head type shapes. You can see how flat these are on the bottom. This one here is a big statue. All of them are. These are all boulder statues. There's no reason for this big pile of granite boulders to be sitting out here. We're in the lowlands. There's no mountains and things like that out here. There's absolutely no reason for all this rock to have come off of this one construction site. The reason why it has is because they're destroying an Indian mound right here too. This was a site of some sort, of some historical significance to ancient people. Take a close look at this stone. You can see how it's been chiseled out. Maybe it's halfway through. It's got a right side profile, but look even closer. Look at all the X's and hash marks in this. Do you see all these lines? Do you see how it's all like a checkerboard. Some of this stuff is gonna come up better on the camera. You can see painted in eyes. You're not gonna find something that looks like Mickey Mouse you're not gonna find something that looks like anything modern that we see today. That's not gonna happen. These are thousands of years old. These are gonna be abstract art that's gonna be hard to see at first. But it's in there. Trust me, it takes about two and a half weeks to learn the style of this art so that you can locate it and find it. But it's there. And by the time this all gets noticed, all this stuff is gonna get blown up and destroyed. I don't have a huge interest in doing this. But I do have an interest in saving our history. When I first came here, I just saw the big flat edges. I knew that there was something going on and it kept me coming out here to try to figure it out. And now that I've figured it out and see that these are all large statues, I've been writing archeologists and colleges, everybody that I can. As you can imagine, that gets quite tiring. Especially 
when they respond with, no, these are just rocks. These aren't just rocks. These are pieces of art from a long lost, long ago civilization. Maybe Mississippian culture, the Hopewell people, some of these people that we know nothing about. That's where this stuff comes from. You want to know something about them. They always say, oh, we don't know anything about it. We don't know. Well, here is our chance. This is the chance that we have to see this stuff. Please try to give a hand if you can. Writing archaeologist, email me. I'll try to point you in the right direction. I'm new at all this too. I'm not an activist. I'm just a 40-year-old vet who doesn't like to see our history just wiped away under the rug. And more than likely... I mean, with the way that this stuff looks, when I see it, I can tell, especially if I have somebody pointing it out to me, that there's eyes and faces in these rocks. These are carved statues, totems. I don't know what they are. There's something. There's something like uh, some kind of spiritual thing, maybe. I, I don't know. I'm not going to speculate. I only know what I see. And... I really hope that you guys can see this stuff too at some point in time before it's just all taken away.